Hi, this is Russell Stanard from teachertrainingvideos.com. This is a full introduction into using Jing. Gonna start right from the beginning. So where can you find it? How can you download it? How can you use it? In 2006, I started to do some work with Screen Capture and actually TechSmith, the organization, contacted me uh, and asked me to test Jing. So I was actually one of the very first people to work with Jing and actually piloted it when it came out. So let's get straight into it. Right, TechSmith Jing into Google, you'll see that the website will come out and you should find one here that says Jing TechSmith and click on that one there because that's the one that we need to grab the download. Come to this screen here and then click on free download because what we want to do is download Jing. So I'm going to click here. Now it's going to depend slightly whether you've got a Mac or Windows. I've got Windows and I'm using Google Chrome. When I click on the download button, it's going to download Jing here on the left hand corner so I have to wait and I've got, obviously you've got explanations if it's in Internet Explorer or if it's in Firefox because it tends to load in different places I can see Jing here on the screen I'm gonna click on it now and I'm gonna open up the Jing file that I've just downloaded so I'm taking you through Jing right from the beginning to actually downloading Jing onto your computer and you can see now that it's actually preparing to download onto my computer so now I'm going to click on this button here and it's time to install Jing onto my computer. Okay, so click on the finish button. You're going to have to wait a few seconds. Another screen is going to appear onto our screen and that will have a little video in it that will give you a quick introduction into using Jing and you can click and watch that video. But I obviously know how to use Jing so what I'm going to do is just click on the right hand corner there and simply open up Jing and get started now this is really important because when you click on that button you can see there's some information to fill in you need to fill in that information email address name and password and then click on create you have to do this because the videos that you create in Jing will be saved on to your kind of Jing account it's called screencast.com so please fill in all the information there and then click on create and that will be it you will be ready to use Jing and you should see the Sun pop up to the top of the screen now what you should have noticed is that Jing the little Sun went to the top of your screen if that didn't happen if once you signed in Jing didn't appear here then you sometimes need to go to your apps or your programs come down to TechSmith and make sure that uh, text that it opens up so click here you can click on Jing and that should open it up onto your screen by just clicking on it okay I've obviously got it open already so there's no need so now we've got Jing running and now it's time to start actually working with Jing and learning how we can use it before we start recording with Jing let's just check a few settings roll over click on this settings one here and in that one just click here on preferences and make sure that you've got your audio device set up that's normally the problem so click here and make sure for example I want to make sure, sure that I'm using this device and I can see that it's working uh, I'm not going to use my microphone on my USB camera I click on OK and now click here to finish and we can do a quick test we won't we're just going to screen capture nothing so I'm going to literally click again roll over click here and um, hold your mouse down and mark out the area now obviously there's nothing underneath here but it will just be a quick test to make sure that we can see it's working make sure you don't click on this button we're not trying to capture an image we'll look at that in a minute but we're look at trying to capture video click on that button there it tells you the microphone's on so that's all good testing testing one two three testing one two three stop finish just give it a quick play testing testing one two three testing one two three right okay perfect so we've got Jing working we've done our first recording now let's start to look at actually recording something and then saving it on the Jing account uh, so let's um, do another recording now but actually record something specific so let's take an example imagine that I want to record myself doing this PowerPoint presentation well how would I do that using Jing well I'm going to roll over Jing which is at the top of the screen click here now you don't have to go full screen so that I'm just going to mark out this area here and make that the actual recording okay and then I'm simply going to click on capture video and start to do my recording hello everybody and welcome to my presentation about key technologies that impact on teaching and learning my name is Russell Stannard and this is a shortened version of a presentation I recently gave uh, at the equals conference in Latvia pause 
Now you've got five minutes to do each part of your recording. So if you do a longer than five minutes, you'd have to do obviously two videos. Now I'm going to click on the next screen and then just carry on. Again, I can just click now and resume. So uh, this talk that I'm going to talk uh, do day today is based on two key uh, pieces of research. And both of them have been published. In fact, this one is just about to be published. And so we're going to be looking at the use of screen capture for giving feedback. Stop and then move on to the next screen okay this way by doing this and by pausing it means I'm not using up all the video time now you can notice see that I can get through quite a lot of slides uh, I've only done 30 seconds you've got five minutes five minutes is plenty long to do a fairly quick recording um, as I said I always use the pause button and notice that I've not gone full screen because if I go full screen it's gonna make the video too big now I'm gonna stop and imagine that I finished okay so I click on the stop button and now I can play back and just check that that video is okay Hello everybody and welcome to my presentation about key technologies that impact okay so that I know that the video is okay now we've got to look at how we're going to share this video and this is where one of the problems comes with Jing in a way because of course it's a free tool you've really only got one option in terms of the way that you can distribute the videos and let me just show you that if we save this onto our computer it's what we call an SWF file and this is not a common file that you can easily open and work with. So you would need to have the SW, the what we call the Swift player onto your computer. So you are restricted in terms of actually saving a physical copy onto your computer. The best thing you can do and the reason why you need it at the beginning to log in with your password and your email address is that you will upload this onto what we call screencast.com. So I've clicked on screencast.com and you can see now that the video is being uploaded. So that is the way to work with screencast.com to upload the videos. Now this is really important. That video has been uploaded to screencast.com and not only that but they've actually sent me the URL, the unique resource locator. And what they've done is that they've with that it's almost like magic. Uh it's like when you copy something it goes into um into your clipboard. So what's happened is that this video has been sent to my clipboard as if I've copied the actual URL address. Now why is that so clever? Well let me just show you. Let me open up Google now and I'm simply going to paste in because so I'm just going to right click and click on paste. Because that URL has been sent to me there it is. And If I actually click on that now that video is on Jing. Okay. Uh, we need to get just get the flash player one second. Okay, I just very need very neat quickly there needed to download the G, the the flash player because I didn't have it into uh, my Google um, Chrome. Sorry, into my yeah into Google Chrome. And now I can click on that video and play it, and that video will. Hello, play back. everybody, and welcome to my presentation about key. So you can see how easy it is to use Jing. Okay, so you can make a video, upload it onto Screencast, and the URL, the unique resource locator, which is this address, is immediately sent back to you and copied into what we call your clipboard. Just like when you copy something, it copies into your clipboard. So it's actually sent the URL to your clipboard. Now the question that everybody asks is, well Russell, what about if I want to get those videos again later? Well it's not a problem, just roll over and go here, which is called your history or your library, it's called your history. Click and you will see all the videos and you've got three possibilities you can delete the video you can get the URL again if you want to share it with someone or you can watch it immediately so imagine I wanted to get the URL because I wanted to share it in other words I wanted to get the actual address of this video well I can click here and again it's now been copied to my clipboard okay so you can do that uh, now copying it to your clipboard, why is that so useful? Well let me give you an example. Imagine you wanted to send the video to your student. So you've got dear student, imagine this is an email. Now I know that the video is in my clipboard so I can just simply paste it in and say here is your video, Russell. And then send that to them and that video if they clicked on it will work. So that's why working with the Sun and the library is really good. You can either delete the video, grab the link so that you can share it with someone or you can view. Now I'm just going to show you one last thing in this introductory set to uh, Jing and that is, and this is another lovely feature, um, and that's if I mark a screen I can do what we call 
image capture so I'm going to click on that and capture it and um, so this is now actually an image and if I wanted to I can do all sorts of things now for example I might want to add an arrow and mark point to something and then I wanted to add some text onto the screen as, and say this is important and I can actually kind of augment um, something and then I can save that now the good thing about when you work with Jing in image capture is that you can save it onto your computer because it will save as a ping file okay it's not easy to save image oh, sorry video onto Jing but it's very easy to save uh, images so that's a quick introduction into Jing uh, so as a tool that I love as I said because I actually worked on the development of the tool and did some of the very early testing and how we could make Jing as simple to use as possible and I think that the product they've come out with it's obviously free and it's got its limitations but it is fantastic really hope you like those videos on Jing Please come to teachertrainingvideos.com. Plenty more videos. Uh, you can sign up to the newsletter if you want updates on all the latest videos that we uh, produce, etc. Then please sign up. There's about 25,000 signed up to that. All the videos are free, but if not, just click here. Now, if you want to learn more about Jing, just click on Jing a Screen Capture, and there are some more advanced videos on working with Jing. However, a couple of other features that I want to point out to you apart from the Jing video capture is Russell's 5 minute blog is a really useful place to go because you can find quick videos on key technologies and I quickly show you how you can use them. Another really useful place to look is also the top 12 videos. You can see the most popular videos on the website. And finally, if you really want to keep up with what I'm doing, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I put plenty of videos on my YouTube channel that I don't put onto teachertrainingvideos.com. I really hope you find all of these resources uh, useful and thank you very much.